to give credit to two people, uh, two golf instructors, for a little comment they made that was important. Both both made a comment that was important, and uh, and how little things, just like medicine, are symptoms of bigger things. So uh, Martin Schuck was nice enough to basically give me his analysis of, uh, analysis of my swing, and he pointed out a problem with my grip at the top. See, the, the left thumb, the palm, should be tightly married. Because my grip was getting weird at the top, the only way I could make a full swing is if I cheated, lifted the right elbow away, which pulls, pulls the palm away, okay? So he spotted that gap, and I kind of disregarded it at first, but then I realized, whoa, that's a symptom of the right elbow being completely out of whack instead of here, here, okay? And my big problem I've been working on is getting that right elbow from being too far behind me and stuck, okay? So when you have the good elbow, you have a good grip. So one little observation was a symptom of something bigger. And, and George Gakis was also nice enough to give me an analysis of my swing. And he said a little subtle thing that I picked up. He said, yeah, I like the top. He is really, you know, complimentary. But he said, yeah, your leg might be a little too flexed at the top. And I knew that that feels. So when I get nervous and anxious, instead of making a full swing where the right leg extends and the right, and the right hip gets high like it should, I will freeze up and not get a full swing and you see that in the flexed leg. But that sets you up for problems because that is a symptom of something bigger. A proper, a proper shoulder, uh, as an ideal turn of the shoulder and hips is this, okay? Now look, the right hip gets higher. Now if you don't do that, and if you freeze it, then you're, you're not gonna be able to, the whole series of gears falls apart. So I've been noticing over the last couple of weeks that when I just take the time to relax and get a nice proper right leg, then my swing works. And when I don't do that, so that was one little comment he made that was a symptom, okay? So you gotta start thinking about, just like medicine, I'm gonna write a book about this, symptoms of bigger diseases.